the convergence of the mafia and Lake Tahoe. Well, we've talked about it in some of our like NorCal legends before about are there frozen bodies at the bottom of Lake Tahoe? And as we've talked about previously, if there are, which there is no proof of, but you can see a lake of that depth and that cold of an area that potentially mummifying or preserving dead bodies um, would have been mob related. Generally, there's no doubt there are mob hits sitting at the bottom of Lake Tahoe. I, I'm sure about it. The question is how many. Um, but you know, when you have this quote unquote mob movie that is based in South Lake Tahoe, we have to talk about the connection because um, you know. And who really knows? It's kind of like the Las Vegas connection with the mafia. Everyone knows that the mafia was sort of uh, essential for bringing much of the casino business to life in Lake Tahoe. They funded a lot of it and they benefited. In Nevada as a whole. In Nevada as a whole, correct. Um, So uh, as I did some research, obviously when you're talking about the mafia, there's not much specifics, but um, when – these mobsters saw that there was potential sitting on the Nevada side of Lake Tahoe. They took their money from Vegas and they started these casinos in Tahoe. And, and there is, you know, there is some documentation of the financial uh, investment that the mafia had on the South Lake Tahoe casinos. I think it was probably a brief and brief investment. And then they were, you know, they left town for whatever reason. Uh, also, Frank Sinatra, who has huge ties to the mob, he bought the Calneva in 1960. And it's well documented that the Chicago mob boss, uh, a Sam Giannaka, Sam Giannaka, would visit the Calneva frequently. And in fact, the Calneva has underground tunnels, which I'm not sure if it was built before or after Frank Sinatra uh, purchased the hotel, but it, these these tunnels are notorious were notorious for people being able to get around like if you're a mob boss you want to be able to get around undetected if something happens it was also um a lot of celebrities would use the tunnels to get around tahoe undetected of course there's the major story of jfk and marilyn monroe supposedly supposedly use those tunnels a lot to conduct their um extramarital affair um, and then like you talked about the, the, uh, the bodies at the bottom of the lake, uh, apparently, you know, back in the sixties, there were a lot of mob hits in Lake Tahoe and apparently they threw them in the lake. We don't have proof of this, but you know, they found some bodies over the years, but Lake Tahoe is the second deepest lake in the country so it makes if, sense if you go out far enough there's no way they'll ever recover that body. and mafia guys if they're residing in tahoe probably have boats very easily jump Correct. on a boat go jump and dump it the body in the middle of the lake no one will ever see or hear from it again of course there's the uh the godfather 2 scene where fredo goes swimming with the fishes in lake tahoe so that's it's been memorialized it's it's been everything um so that is that is all I could really find about the mafia in Lake Tahoe. I, I think a lot of people don't know this, but they actually served a huge role in the beginning, but have since sort of withdrawn from the area, or at uh, least from public view. At least from public view. At least, well, you know, I don't. I, I just don't think the mafia invests in hotels anymore. They can't get away with it like they used to. What so. are they investing in? Bitcoin, probably. I don't know. I don't know what what the deal is with the mafia nowadays, but. Uh, but one fact you did leave out is the fact that I won forty dollars in quarters at the Calneva <laughs> Hotel when we were like I don't know thirteen years. This old. is a great story. Have have we told this on the podcast? I don't know. We we were visiting with our family the Calneva Hotel, which was fantastic. It's a great hotel. It's an all time hotel. They which is closed now. They're planning on reopening it, but it's it's currently closed. Um, and I always remember they had the state line through the middle of the pool. Yep. So you could go from one state to another. Which in the we pool. thought was the coolest thing. Oh, I, I was 12 years old. I thought it was amazing. Yeah. 